What's up, sales pros? This is Larry, the mortgage guy, sales disruptor. I'm gonna talk about social media marketing involving tagging and checking in. Now, whenever you're posting something and you tag a bunch of people, you need to make sure those people want to be tagged, okay? What I mean by that is if you tag a bunch of people randomly just to get their attention, the problem that happens is that every single time someone comments or or, or likes or shares that post that you made, they get an alert for it. And let's say someone else shares it, it actually shows that that post got shared again and therefore now there's two posts with their tag on it, okay? So you can definitely annoy a lot of people when you tag the wrong person on the wrong post, okay? People do this a lot when they're promoting something, like they're promoting a party, they'll tag me, and I'm telling you that's a quick way to get me to unfollow you, okay? And I'm pretty sure this has happened to you guys. So avoid tagging people unless you know for sure they wanna be tagged on it. A good time to tag someone is if you're having lunch with them and you, you wanna say, oh, having business lunch with my real estate partner or my customer or whatever, anytime, that makes sense, especially if they're in the photos together or whatever, right? Um, you know, or you have really, really important piece of information that you think that every single person must, must have and you think the value of the post will exceed the annoyance that they feel, then go ahead and tag them, okay? Uh, also, when you're commenting people, and people are commenting back and you're trying to get their attention, it's good to tag their name. So if someone puts a comment on my post, I will put their name back into it and uh, write my comment back because that actually gets more attention to them. That actually alerts them on their newsfeed make sh uh, and make sure that they see that you tag them or whatever, okay? So it's a good way to communicate with someone, especially if you're engaged with them, right? Now, when it comes to checking in, you should always check in to your business if you're doing something business related. So if you're, you know, and even if you're not doing business related, but you want to promote yourself, like if I'm eating lunch at my office, I'll, ta I'll check in at my office. Or if I'm meeting someone, uh, let's say I'm going to a closing, uh, I would actually say going to a closing for my customers and I'll check in at the title company that I'm at the closing at. That's what I mean by checking in, right? Checking in kind of uh, subliminally explains to people that what you're doing and uh, it's a great tool to promote your business. Now, some people use checking in to, to brag about where they're at. I don't see value in that. You know, I mean, oh, I'm checking in at the Galleria or I'm checking in at this restaurant. I mean, it's okay to talk about that kind of stuff, but that right there doesn't really give as much weight or value as checking into your business, okay? Hopefully that gives you some uh, valuable information. If you guys have any questions, this is Larry the Morris Guy. I'm out.